Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, cotangent functions naman ang ating igagraph. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Kapag cotangent function, medyo kapareho siya sa graphing ng tangent function. If hindi mo pa napapanood ang video na yun, nandito sa upper right corner ng video na to. Ang ating standard equation is y equals a cotangent b theta na kapag ginraph ay ganito. Kung mapapansin nyo, kapareho lang nung ating tangent function in a way. Dahil meron pa rin mga intercept, meron pa rin mga asymptote, alternate pa rin yung markers natin. Pero, ang origin niya, instead of intercept, katulad sa tangent, ang origin niya ay asymptote na. So, asymptote, intercept. Asymptote, intercept. Asymptote, and so on. And yung kanyang curve ay magsisimula na sa left, Nakataas yung left part, pababa dun sa intercept, at pababa sa right part. Still, ang one period natin ay from one intercept to the second intercept. From this zero until the pi here. And ang ating formula for that is pi over absolute value of b. And ang amplitude natin ay wala pa din kasi nga unbounded yung ating curve pataas at pababa. Ang nakikita nyo ngayon ay ang graph ng y equals cotangent theta at yan yung tinatawag natin na parent graph ng ating cotangent function. Ito yung susundan natin na behavior sa pag-graph ng mga iba't ibang example. Dito, tayo sa unang example, we have y equals cotangent to theta. Solve natin yung period. This is pi over 2. Or the absolute value of 2, simply pi over 2. So kapag pi over 2, mula dito sa ating origin or y-axis, yan ay magiging asymptote na. Tapos, count tayo ng dalawa, second marker agad natin ay pi over 2, yan yung ating susunod na asymptote. Tapos, another pi over 2 or simply pi na lang, yan yung ating asymptote. For the next marker, we have 3 pi over 2. Tapos, dito naman sa negative part, ito rin ay negative pi over 2. At meron din tayong asymptote dyan. Now, divide natin sa kalahate itong pi over 2. pi over 2 times 1 half, that is pi over 4. Ito ngayon yung pi over 4 natin at iyan ay intercept. Ito ay 3 pi over 4, another intercept. This is 5 pi over 4, another intercept. This is 7 pi over 4, another intercept. Of course, this is negative pi over 4. Now is the time for us to trace the curve. Mumula dito sa part na to. Pababa until the intercept. Tapos, pababa pa ulit siya. So, susundan lang natin yung parent curve na yan. Again, hindi siya pwedeng tumama sa asymptotes. So, pwede rin natin lagyan tong isang side. For more accurate graph, ito yung graph ng y equals cotangent 2 theta. At ang period natin ay pi over 2. Let's proceed to the second example. Meron tayong y equals negative cotangent 1 fourth theta. Kuhanin natin yung period. This is pi over the absolute value of 1 fourth. Or in other words, this is pi times 4 over 1 or 4 pi. Dapat yung ating second marker is 4 pi kasi yan yung magdedetermine ng ating unang or pangalawang asymptote. Yung y-axis din kasi natin, yun yung magsisilbi nating unang asymptote. So, this is also negative 4. 
Now, let's divide that into 2. This is 2 pi at yan ay intercept. This is negative 2 pi, another intercept. Negative 6 pi, another intercept. And this is positive 6 pi, another intercept. Now, dahil negative yung ating cotangent function, isa-switch natin yung kanyang position. Ibig sabihin, hindi tayo magsisimula dito. Ang simula natin ay sa part na ito. Tapos, pababa siya. Burahin natin yung part na yun. Afterwards, we continue. Pababa. Ganun din dito sa part na to at sa part na ito. For a more accurate graph of this function, we have this picture. y equals negative cotangent 1 fourth theta is graphed like this. So mukha lang na parang nagta-touch yung asymptote dun sa curve pero hindi po. Asymptote should never touch the curve. At ganyan tayo mag-graph ng cotangent functions. Thank you for watching! If you learned from this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon. See you on our next video!